Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Well, today, you know, today we have a culmination of a strange event a few days ago. We were all, all of us in the beauty community, just minding our own business, and bam, Hourglass just dropped two new palettes, just like that, like it was nothing for them. And I picked up one of them. Today we are gonna look at the Hourglass Blush and Glow. Now, they dropped two. They also dropped a Sculpt and Set palette. Both of them are $85, and yes, they are pink. Ooh, they're pink. Why did I only get one? Usually I am such a hoarder, I buy both. Oh, there's just been so many new releases lately. I had to show some restraint and I had to kind of go eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick which one would have the least amount of repeats. Hourglass loves their repeats. I probably picked wrong because where do you see what's in this? Whew. Okay, so we are going to discuss it. We are going to talk about what are repeats and what are new, and we're going to try it on. I have only my base done, a little bit of hourglass, lipstick and lip gloss, couldn't resist, and some mascara. That's it. We're going to put this little guy on our face and talk about it. And yes, I did open it up and go, oh, it's pink. That was cool. Um, you know, I don't mind shade repeats. I really don't because I don't palette hop. What I mean about that is I, there's going to be a caveat to this. Wait, wait. Um, what I mean is I don't want to get out like 10 palettes or search through stuff, um, probably because as a content creator here on YouTube, I just have too much stuff because I get it for review. And so I don't like to just jump around palettes. I don't mind if there's repeats so it's all in one place. That being said, here comes the caveat. That being said, Gosh, Hourglass, you know, and if you're gonna do a lot of repeats, please tell us, because the problem with Hourglass is it all sounds like a repeat. Oh, the Ambient Celestial Incandescent Powder Strobe. I think I have that. Do I have the, do I have the Ambient Strobe or do I have the Celestial Strobe? Or do I have the Luminous Celestial Ambient? You get it. The names all sound really familiar and it's confusing and it does become a little bit, joking aside, of a wild goose chase. So wait till I tell you what we got here. We got six shades. This is the blush and glow. The other is more kind of um, complexion, setting powder, bronzer, stuff like that. I thought I would get the pretty one, right? Okay, so let's see what we have. Here's what it looks like. And yes, you know, it looks like an hourglass palette, except for the pink. The pink is really cool. Then you open it up and here's what it looks like. It's very pretty. We're gonna review the shades in here and we're gonna look at them in two different lightings and we are gonna try it on and play with it. Look, you can't fault hourglass. You can't say they don't have nice products. You can't say they don't perform well. What you can say, and no one's gonna argue with you is, geez, there's a lot of repeats. Geez, they sound the same, even to someone like me who is immersed in this kind of Thing all day and geez what did I buy did I get the same thing okay and they're $85 each that's why I got one I was ordering quickly I thought it would be nice for review I'm like I'll deal with it later let me just pick the blush usually I would just get them all I, I can't always do that I can't it's just it's too much right okay I mean you got to tell me down below if you got one which one you got I don't want to rue the day that I didn't get the sculpt and set Ugh, you'll have to tell me. All right, so let's talk about the shades we got. We're going to look at the swatches, but let's just talk about it in the pan first. Okay, first of all, we have the Incandescent Strobe Light Strobe Powder. You thought I was making fun with the names before. That is the names. This is a repeat. We have the Soft Flush Blush Shade. This is a repeat. It was in that uh, butterfly palette around the holidays. We have the Celestial. This is new, but there's a caveat to that, too. It's the caveat show today. Uh, this is the Celestial Strobe Light Strobe Powder. It's new, I believe, unless I missed one. You can correct me. I'm not right all the time. Um, but I, the thing about this one is it's in both the Blush and Glow and the Sculpt Set. Is this in Butterfly? I have the Butterfly Powder over there. I need to check. If it's in Butterfly, then it's technically not new. I need to check on that. But it is in both this palette and the new Sculpt and Set palette. This is the Mood Flush Blush. This is a repeat. This is the Champagne Strobe Light Strobe Powder. It is a repeat. And this is the Sunset Glow Blush, also in the Butterfly. We can almost call this the Butterfly Part 2 because I think there's two, maybe three, shades that were also in the Butterfly Palette. Is it nice to have them all in one palette together? Sure. Are they beautiful shades? And chances are you don't have most of them anyway. 
Sure. Is there anything wrong with that? No, but I, you know, I can't help but wish they'd be a bit more transparent about it. The reason I have just complexion done on my face is I want to just kind of play with these and put two different blushes on. And I didn't want to start the video out that way and look all crazy. I just want to kind of play with these and put them on. It's nothing we haven't seen before, guys. And there's a part of me that wonders if they released it, bam, on that day, like, wha there you go, is that there's a lot of repeats. I, I really, I mean, unless this shade is new and just shared, between the two new palettes, it's the only new one in there. So, but you know, a lot of us are just starting out or don't, I you know, haven't kept up with all the hourglass releases. So, you know, just like they say with drinking that it's six o'clock somewhere, this is new to someone somewhere, right? I mean, that's true. Not everyone has all the hourglass stuff. It's so pricey. So let's look at what we got here in case you are interested. I bet you're going to think it's super pretty. There's nothing not pretty about it. Here it is on my arm first in studio lighting. Take a look at that here. There are all the six shades, uh, mostly repeats, I believe, that I just described to you. And then let's take it outside into the warm California sunshine. You're going to see it a lot better. In studio lighting, hourglass is so subtle and the powders are so finely milled. It's much easier to see this outside in natural lighting. That's where I think it really looks its best. Okay, I've got a mirror here. Mirror here. I've got a bunch of brushes, of refer brushes. I want to put some of it on the cheeks. I want to kind of go all over the place with it. You've seen a lot of these before in different reviews, but maybe not all together. Let's start with getting some incandescent strobe light, strobe powder here. That's this shade right here. And I'm going to put that right there. That's a very icy highlight. And I'm sure you're seeing it. A little too icy for me, to be totally honest with you. Switching brushes, let's put this golden highlight powder over here. Oop, I got into the blush a little bit. Let's put this golden highlight powder over here. This is the one that I'm wondering might be new, but is most definitely shared. Woo! I'm putting it on very... The reason I did this during the video... Um, is I didn't want to start out this way all mismatched. This one is a very glaring. I have over applied just for you to be able to see. And I know this is in this new one and the other. Switching brushes again. Let's go with this champagne strobe light in the bottom middle there. I keep switching brushes so that I'm not contaminating. And I'm just kind of running that all the way down the nose. It's a bit much right there. But I just want you to be able to see it. That's that's my goal. Okay, we got three blushes that we want to look at. Let's look at the soft flush blush first. That's this one right here in the top. And I am going to over apply it. This is a really, really pretty shade, like I said, from the butterfly that I have seen. Let me just really over apply the soft flush blush, really over apply it. So you can see it because just because they're repeats doesn't mean you have them, honestly. Okay, switching brushes. Let's go into the Mood Flush. Mood Flush is from quite a few years ago. I remember that one. I have this, I think, in a single. So here's our Mood Flush blush. I'm going to be all mismatched. I just want you guys to see what these look like when they're applied on the skin. Boy, I got to tell you, I'm kind of in love with this highlight. I mean, when you want a blingy highlight, that's that. That's the new one right there, which I think is new. I remember really loving this Mood Flush blush. And I will tell you, I have not brought it out in some time. And that's really pretty together, aren't those two together? So now we got two of the blushes on, three of the highlights. We just got to find spot for the third blush, which wouldn't you know it, is the Sunset Glow. That's a repeat from Butterfly. And it's very, 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 it's, it's, uh, okay, let's just stick it here. We'll just, we're just kind of skin swatching it. Uh, don't worry, I'm not, no, I'm not applying this. I'm not advising that you apply this here, you guys. I'm not trying to be silly. I'm really not. I know I'm kind of being a little irreverent in the video, but I'm not trying to be. I just want you to see what these look like on the skin. And obviously, do not wear your blush on. I mean, do what you want, but, you know, it, I'm not telling you to wear it that way. This is a very luminous blush, too. It's very pretty, and but would be prettier in its proper place. So we've got one, two, three of the blushes here going. We've got one, two... Three of the highlights going. Pretty much all repeats. I know I look a bit silly, guys. I promise I'll take this off before I go out anywhere. I'm a little off kilter. I just wanted to kind of 
face swatch them for you quickly. What do you guys think? Did I get the right, did I make the right choice of the two? Should I have gotten the other? Oh, I don't know. Now I gotta look into the other and see what I missed there. I just wanted to kind of show you this. And again, as silly as this looks up here and my two different highlights, I'm just kind of hoping to give you an idea of what this looks like on the skin. I have, oh, so much Hourglass product in my collection. So if you need this swatched on Instagram over, you know, next to something you already have in order to make a better decision. Sorry, it's hard to take me seriously looking like this. You can just give it, you know, just give me an ask and I'm happy to do it. Ask me here or over on Instagram, whatever it is you need. I want to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on repeats in palettes? See, I usually don't mind them. Uh, but for an avid collector such as me and such as some of you out there, I'm, I'm sure this is getting to be a bit much. Um, to others of you, you pick and choose what you like and you don't have the other, so it doesn't matter. And maybe that's what Hourglass is counting on, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that, please, down below. That's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow and come say a big hello over on Instagram and on TikTok too. You can become a bigger part of this community here on YouTube by becoming a channel member or by giving super thanks as so many of you have done. But no matter what, as long as you are here now, I'm just thrilled to see you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm going to go get this off my forehead now. <laughs>